G'day players, um, I'm in a different location, again, if you can't see, um, I've got some soundproofing hopefully going up, so anyway, um, so I thought today I'd upload a video uh, of something that I did, which is completely different to uh, an art style that I have done previously, um, I have done vector work before, I've never done a portrait show, um, and it was only because, you know, I had some free time and some with it. So uh, hopefully you like what's going up. Um, I suppose you'll tell me if you won't. Uh, anyway, uh, I hope you guys like this. Um, as I said, it's just completely experimental stuff that I did. Um, I'm hoping to explain in some way, shape or form why doing different things is important to you uh, and a little bit about my art practice. So yeah, I hope you guys like it and um, I'll see you at the end. Jumping straight in, you can actually see the portrait that I put up on the forum um, and was encouraged to colour. It's 30 minutes um, that I did, A5 size pencil on portrait, uh, pencil on paper, and it is of Andy, which is the accent that I altered to your character. I was just looking for faces at the time and you know, came across that. I, I was actually going to do Darkiplier first, but I ended up doing not, um, Andy anyway. I probably concerned a lot of people drawing this because there is actually, you know, uh, but I will say that when he actually did post that original video, I was so concerned. <laughs> I, I was getting ready to jump through that computer screen. So, anyway. Um, so, what I wanted to talk about was the uh, importance of doing stuff that's different. And why it actually improves your art practice. Um, I had the opportunity last year uh, to go back to uni and actually finish off my illustration course. Um, I did finish my you know, fine art course and I did get honours. I wouldn't say they were high honours, but they were certainly honours. Um, and, you know, I learned a lot from doing that course. Not everybody has the opportunity to do that. And, you know, if you're still struggling and starting starting off, you know, you're going to find things that you know, um, are more expensive and you don't particularly want to try them. For example, uh, when I first started oils, I was very concerned, but I had the support of not only having my mother who has played with oils and was able to teach me a few things, but um, a university professor who guided me a whole lot in the, you know, how to do oils, which is what's going to pop up for me in the next few minutes. And I was actually really lucky to have the guidance of, you know, a professor who knew what he was doing. And like, as I said, I had painted before um, in gouache and in watercolour and acrylic, but the things that oils taught me were shades and light and composition and that's a lot of what that wonderful person has taught me uh, and as I said in this you know it was something that I only learnt through experimentation and rather than doing things different and the reason why doing things different is important is because you learn different things um, you learn what colours go together <laughs> you, you learn how to mix colours you learn help, you know, so even with this piece, piece, you'll see that, you know, I have done a green overall composition, uh, hence why Sean's eyes are green in this photo and not blue, and that's only purely because in learning about oils and colour theory and in doing that sort of thing, I learnt that, for example, certain colours of eyes reflect light so well, um, so you'll find that, you know, green and not blue and that's because blue eyes are one of those particular colours of eyes that actually reflect really well. Um, the only thing I learned about this portrait that um, I had concerns with uh, is because of the sharp contrast of the lines uh, in Illustrator which is great as I said for putting down flat colour and learning different things and different techniques but it was too sharp when it came to shadows and lights and as you can see I'm actually struggling with getting the lights that is reflected in his hair um, and I actually did struggle with that for a little bit uh, and ended up taking the final composition in Photoshop and actually dodging and burning certain aspects like I think I ended up spending about 15 minutes in Photoshop so it wasn't overall that much Photoshop use but it was still there um, and the reason only reason I learned this as you can see you know, it was only through doing something, doing something through trial and error, and experiencing something different, that I, I learned how to do this. Um, I have done another portraiture 
in the meantime, I'm not sure whether I'll post that. I'll keep that for myself. Um, because as I said, I'm still learning this portraiture medium and, you know, it's just more of a thing of doing something for myself, doing something and learning something new, uh, rather than posting something to gain followers or to gain, you know, an understanding of, like, this is how you do this, because this is not the strategy this at all, this is just me trialling something and learning. And, um, as I said, only by doing this will... You know, you, you learn how to do different things. And this isn't something that only applies to art. It's also something that applies to really different things in life. For example, if you try different combinations of food, like PB&J, or, you know, like we don't get PB&J in Australia, but, yeah, you, you can understand what I mean. Um, like trying veggie bite, for example, like you only learn if you like it or not by tasting it. Um, that's probably the most Australian thing I could think of there. Um, but, you know, I went to Japan, as I said, a couple of months ago, and only by going to Japan did I learn different things and experience a different culture. Now, I would not have learnt that if I didn't experience that myself. So that's why certain things are actually really important for you to go and do. And, you know, doing them by yourself sometimes or, you know, do, taking a friend to do it coming with you. Now, as I, said, I did Japan by myself, um, and I wouldn't want to do it with anyone else because, you know, as I, said, I have certain likes and dislikes that, not only I want to do, and like I did go on a tour and I learnt certain things that I liked and I disliked about tours, um, and as I said by only by doing that would by myself and experience that for myself would I have learnt what what I like and what I dislike, and you can certainly say that I dislike this or I dislike that, and is it it's only by a first your personal preference that you understand this. Is there something in this picture that you'll actually end up seeing in the final result is I actually ended up removing these two white circles in both of the eyes because they didn't match the composition I felt. Um, so I did remove them. So I spent a lot of time on them, but I ended up removing them. Um, and um, I hope you guys like the rest of the picture. Um, the rest of the music will start playing. So yeah, I hope you like that. <laughs>